Every year in late summer and into early fall, fisheries biologists assess fish reproduction on high priority lakes. Today we're taking along with biologist Jason Lee and his crew at Lake Audubon. Fish born within the last six or eight months or so. And uh, the reproduction can either be from fish that we stock in the lake out of the hatchery, which a lot of times is walleye, or it can be natural production. And in many cases that is perch or northern pike, where we see the young of the year that are produced naturally in the lake. To trap young of the year fish, biologists use small mesh and frame nets that target small fish. This data collected plays an important role when making fish management decisions. It gives us some idea of what uh, we might expect for the future of the fishery. If we see a lot of walleye in our nets in a given year, we kind of know that we had a good uh, stocking that year and there's some potential for a good year class that will be in the fishery for many years to come. It's also important to have a good predator-prey relationship. If we see like a lot of young of the year perch, we know there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, food out there for the walleye or the northern pike or fathead minnows or spot tail shiners or some type of forage item. You don't want too many adult fish in the lake or they're slow growing and, and stunted. You, you want to try to, to balance that. It was an average year for fish reproduction at Audubon, but that didn't come as a surprise. Biologists didn't stock walleyes in 2019 because the lake currently has a lot of two and three year old fish. Then again, the survey turned up lots of small perch and a good mix of other forage species. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.